out of bed. It's a good Kila. Back with another one. Mm. And yes, people, what's good? Uno good, make sure that uno good. If uno good, my first step uno are right. So for the new subscribers, thank you for subscribing and welcome to the family. For the dear ones, them love you, you and you over there. So you are. Anyways, today is kind of like a Q&A, how I really feel about being a sick child, a sick a young adult, yeah. My, my sister is behind the screen and she's going to ask me some questions she wants to know or want to ask me. I don't know what she ever ask me. So, before we even go further into the video, please guys, remember to like, share, comment and subscribe. If you don't want to leave a comment, leave a like and watch the video to the end, okay? Alright, let's get right into the video. First question. How many sicknesses and or diseases do you have? I have two sicknesses and one disease. What are the two sicknesses and what are and what is the one disease? My sicknesses include asthma and sickle cell, HBSS. If you don't know what is it, look it up. And I have heart. <laughs> the disease is heart condition. Okay, tell us about the asthma. Um, tell us what what asthma is. Yeah, me must tell asthma. you what is asthma. So what's so the very know asthma? Guys, don't go on bang Google or ask your mother, your father. Asthma? All right, um, it's a bron bronchial disease. Like it make your chest tighten, your wheezy, have shorter breath. That is okay. Asthma. What is sickle cell? I'll, um, sickle cell have to do with the bloodstream, the white blood cell that eats out the red one, and then make it have dense pain and a whole bag of stuff. How long have you had sickle cell and asthma? 24 years. 24 years. Tell us about the asthma and the sickle cell um, growing up. For example, um, School, how, how you dealt with it and school, um, at home, the day to day activities, you know, being a child, you want to play and those things. Tell us about that. That's me. Um, um, going to school, it really affected me a lot from basic school straight to evil college. It really did affect me because of, of my schooling, of my education. I'm at the hospital. Check your stats if you don't. If you think I like me, I don't go to the hospital to ask me that kid. <laughs> Alright, from, from when I was a child, so you know, I've been spent half of my life in the hospital. So I did shock up my school in my education. But I will learn my way around it because I did have some great principal and teachers and friends. We help me along the way and so forth. So, I mean, it was rocky, but let me feel it. So, so would you say that your childhood was as easy or harder than everybody else's childhood? And if so, how? Well, I wouldn't say my childhood was easier or because people who don't really have no form of illness got you got you stuff a lot of stuff as a young person as a child growing up so in a my circumstances me don't know how to put that honestly because I'm going to be honest people all day have worse and sickness than me but I didn't tell them and then they go and leave me so I'm just um my answer is everybody get their own struggles they own a fight and we just try to push through Everybody. So, from my understanding, when you were younger, I saw a photo in one of your previous videos of you and your belly was very huge. Tell us about that. Well, when I was three, um, like when I was two years old, going on to three years old, my mom, my cousin realized, my big cousin realized that my belly is big and um, like me look like some malnourished kids so they saw um 
uh, image of an African child, and I looked just like that. And later, and I was eating and all of that, and I realized, yo, she no look good. So they took me to the hospital and they run them blood tests, and that's how they found out that I had HBS sickle cell. So yeah, um, <laughs> I don't know. That means you can put up a video. You can go ahead and watch that video, guys, if you want to see how I looked when I was three. You can put the link somewhere. Um, next question. From my understanding, there is a a cut on your stomach, right? Tell us about it. When I was three, I did a show us too. No, I show us. Show us everybody wants it. Guys, I'm not sure I'm a cut. No. Mm-mm. And I forget my 1,000 subscribers, then I'll show you my cut. But when I was three years old, I did a splenectomy. Yes, that's why my belly did so big with me. Young because the spleen did get infected or something. It's, the, it's in the story times. If you want to watch it, that video, you can go ahead. But I did do a splenectomy. That's why I have this huge cut on my belly. If you know, you know, okay? Want to know the story? Go down below and watch that video, okay? So, how often would you say that you were inside of the hospital? Um, but then, every every month, every two weeks. Every two months. And how was that? Um, how was... How was... <laughs> That uh, those experiences for you being so young in age, it was painful and sad because I I never had the time to really do as much as I wanted to as a child to play with my friends, my cousins, all of that. If if I did, I would end up get sick the night or the next day. So sometimes they're afraid to even come it or anyway and. It just did hard. We didn't miss my family. When my mother, nobody come visit me and they leave, I'm all alone. It, it wasn't nice. Uh, it, it did hard growing up as a sick person. The sick one, the sickly one in a, in, a, in a family. Everybody just, they love you and they pet you. They don't care if you do nothing because Come out of this, come out of here again, come out of this, da 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 da. It's a girl get sick, you want to go big yard, all of that. It just, it did hard. Even in high school, all of my friends, they mark you, they can't do this, mark you, they don't do this, mark you, they don't do this. It didn't feel that way because I feel like nobody wanted me. It may feel like I felt as if I wasn't a normal child. I feel, I feel like my bad. But anyway, me just me always want everybody to just treat me like me me know I said me not alright but stop making it look like say me a handicap or me and not nobody. I somebody feel I somebody feel something like Okay. Me not know. Um Since you since you became a young adult, right? How often did did these sicknesses affect you? And what were the nature of of it? Well, I mean, since I became a young adult, like every month or every two months, and sometimes if me don't take care of myself, because I know what to do and what not to do, but sometimes I don't want to do it. I don't want to take any medications. Me just want to feel like normal human being. So I don't want to do all of that. I don't want to feel sick. So I push that aside, and then no home. This comes up, they can go away. Get sick. So, like, young adult, I can't work. Yes, I'm gonna get sick. I can't do what I want because I'm going to get sick. I can't go to the river as I please, the beach as I please, because in the night I am born to get sick. So, every two months, every time the climate change, any time rain fall, I can afford to be sick. Sick being. Giant spain, sickle cell, asthma, everything just tumbled on. Looks okay. And you just referred to um, 
when you you know um job applications are those things expound on it real quick um to me personally i've never let my sickness define who i am so i've always put my life at risk i would say i was determined enough to do what i want like me you want something wrong go defeat i don't like to be dependent so i always put the applications out and the swap say somebody call me and even do when i do go on that interview like how is it the job some people them pity me i feel like them pity me and some people degrade me as if i'm not regular or I'm supposed to know when I'm going to be sick because I had an interviewer ask me how often am I going to be sick like me near Jesus so there are some people who degrade you and some people who selfishly pity you and there are some people who look by you and say oh my god you motivate me da, 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 da. but I um, always make sacrifices to do what I want and get the job done until I'm sick so yeah, they're just students of it. They don't make me sickness define who I am and what I can and cannot do. Okay. No, that's... I think that's a good summary of the, um, the sicknesses. Now we need to explore and the disease. So, what is this disease? It's, um, what is it? Mitral valve. Um, it's leaking. And I'm supposed to do surgery. And um, I found out about a year ago. I found out about a year ago that like, my valve is leaking, the left one. And I'm supposed to do a multiple valve replacement. But um, I'm working with the doctors at UE. I'm on medications to take every day. That's about it. Mm -hmm. um, what are the things that you experience um, with this heart disease? Oh God, I feel my heart flutter tight on my chest. I feel my heart up in my chest. And my chest tighten. And I don't know, I feel like somebody has stabbed me. Stabbed me continuously. That's what I've been feeling with the heart problem. I feel like somebody has killed me. Stand up in my back and I'm dig all in it as I feel. <laughs> I'm not excited by it as I feel. But they change the medication really I help. so yeah. <laughs> Period. I think that really summarizes it. Um so but start no man kid I can't see you. So for the last question. Um for the last question. Would you change? <laughs> would you change? Um, how would I say this? Would you, <laughs> if you could change the, um, the type of sicknesses or diseases you have, or full blown get rid of them, so you know um, your life would be differently be different because the things that happen in your life make you who you are. Would you change? Um, <laughs> would you change oh my God, I'm going to be so honest right now. Maybe someone because them go upset. Our friends, I don't know, but honestly, if I never had these sicknesses, I wouldn't be marquee that this marquee that I am. I feel like my sickness, my husband's sickness, made me who I am today that enough people love and cherish so much. I don't think that I would be me without my sicknesses. It's a part of me. I've grown to accept it. And it made me who I am. It made me stronger. Yo, me a warrior. Okay. I wouldn't give it up. But it re sometimes, me I'm going to cap. Oh, damn. Sometimes I feel like more than six feet deep. Sometimes it makes me feel like I'm worthless. Sometimes it makes me feel like I'm not enough. It makes me feel stuck. It makes me feel like I'm not trying. It makes me feel lost. 
He hurt me. Yeah. You sit me, so no hurt me. Bad, bad, bad. But, without them, I would have need Mark Hiller, bro. You get me? So, I mean, nah. Mother TNG. But then again, and then I may have to look into it and I have to be thankful for what I get. Because it could have been worse. Because people out there really have hell of different sickness. Why well, I mean, I'm not going to manage it. They must, they must treat sickness as rough. But it built me to be me. And I'm fine with it. I've grown to accept it. That's the only reason that I can give you this answer. Because I'm grow to accept it. Even though sometimes I don't want it. Even though sometimes I feel like giving up. I don't want it anymore. It makes me feel this way, that way. But it built me. It made me who I am. So, I mean, no. I don't know who is. <laughs> that's, that, I'm just being honest. Like, I mean, like, no. Straight up facts. But, all I can say is, for everybody, I have some form of illness, I have some family member that got you something. But listen, do not make a sickness define you. Do not make a sickness who will have done. Get up and go. Push forward or can do it. Whether you're sick or not. Do it until the sickness come again. Play with sick or not. No means that we can do it. That is sick or not. That means that we are not mad. We can do it. We can do anything we put my mind to. We can do anything I put my mind to. But as I feel this, all the mindset and the motivation, I'm going to say, oh, it shall be well. If you reach just right in the video, remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I almost reached 600 subscribers. And I'm on the road to 1,000. So what? Oh, no, I do. Let me know. So guys, if you want to reach that far on a real one, big up you and you run there. So for the 84 and I give me none. You want to for the cut of your hands and I am vice. Oh, oh my god. Anyways, remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> tell a friend, tell a friend. Because we keep it up with Kila. Long live Shanti. Mwah.